Maki. I'm so excited to be in the house of God this morning. I thank God for what he's been doing. He's been doing a great work. I'm excited. Are you excited today about his grace, his mercy, his love, his kindness towards us? I sure am. He's been doing such an awesome thing in our lives. I'm encouraged too, saints of God. I believe we're going to be back together, fellowshipping like we normally have in the past. But how many of you know it's not going to be like it was before, but it's going to be better. It's not going to be like it was before, but it's going to be much better. God has so many great things in store for us, and I want you to be encouraged because he's been showing himself strong in our behalf. Bible studies has been awesome on Wednesdays. Sunday morning services has been awesome. I pray that you've been being blessed, and I pray that you're excited about God's word. As, uh, and I want to do this uh, right fast, if you'll bear with me. A little song came to my heart. We used to sing uh, back in the day. My mother helped sing, uh, teach, taught us this song. It says... This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice, I shall rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Y'all help me sing it. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Help me sing it. Say it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I shall rejoice. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and give God praise right where you are. Come on, lift up holy hands. Tell him, thank you, God. We thank you. We worship you. We praise you. This is the day that you have made, God, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for yet another day. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for all that you've done for us, and we thank you for what you're going to do. Father, we appreciate your love towards us. We thank you, God, for watching over us. We thank you, God, for keeping us. We thank you for sparing our lives to see one more day, Father. That's how we take it, God, one day at a time. Sweet Jesus, Lord, continue to just show favor and mercy in our behalf. Bless NHBC, Father. Bless every member, every family member, every loved one, every aunt, uncle, sister, brother, cousin, niece, nephew. Father, we pray that you bless every father, every mother, everything concerning NHBC, Father. We thank you, God, for your hand is upon us. We do not take it lightly, nor do we take it for granted, but God, we worship you today. We glorify your name. We magnify your name, Father, for you alone are worthy, and you alone deserves all the glory and honor. God, we praise you as we go in your word today. We lift up our Bibles, and we say, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can go where it says I can go. I can have what it says I can have. Say, I am ready to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, ever-living, ever-present, only authoritative word of God. Father, I am ready to receive information, inspiration, education, manifestation, clarification, justification, and revelation of your word right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, saints of God, if you believe that, give him a shout right there where you are. Come on and lift your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. 
He's worthy of all the praise. I'm excited this morning about our God. I'm excited about his love. Amen. You should be too because he's been sparing your lives to see another day. He's been blessing your family. You, you haven't gone without. You're eating good. You're sleeping well. You're living large. How many of you know we, live a, we serve a large God? Mm -mm -mm. We serve a large God, and we are the type of believers, or we are the remnant of believers that will not complain. We will not give up. We will not quit. We will not stop. We will not bow. Hallelujah. We will not, we will not submit to the devil, but we're going to submit to God's word and we're going to trust his word. We're going to believe his word. We're going to stand on his word. We're going to give him our all in all, saints. Come on now. We're going to praise him. We're going to worship him. We're going to glorify him right where we are. It doesn't matter what's going on around us. It doesn't matter the circumstance. It doesn't matter how we feel, but know what matters? That God loves us. That's what matters, saints. His love towards us is insurmountable. His love towards us is great. His love towards us is just awesome. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord today. Amen. How many of you are excited about God? Isn't he a good God? Come on, he deserves the praise. He deserves the honor and he deserves the glory. Come on, we can't praise him enough. There's a scripture where we say that if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise him enough. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. How many of you are exalting his name right now? In the living room, in the dining room, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the bathroom. It don't matter where you are. He deserves the glory. Hallelujah. Come on and give him praise right where you are. Amen. I feel a praise in the house. I feel a praise in the house. Amen. Woo. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. We serve a good God. He's been showing himself strong in our behalf, saints. I'm telling you, God, the, the reports I've been getting, the, the testimonies from the saints, God has just been blessing. How, how many of you know, even here at NHBC, I, I could talk for NHBC. We haven't had a, a report. We haven't had a report of COVID-19 in the whole body. Hallelujah. We know the devil has been trying to attack us, and he's been trying to show us this, and he's been trying to cast fear. But how many of you know, the Bible says in, in the book of Psalms 91, that he would not let none of this, these diseases Come nigh our dwelling. Mm, mm, mm. You're protected, saints of God, because his love that's addicted to you keeps you and covers you and protects you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! I hope I'll be able to get to this scripture this morning because I'm feeling like preaching right now where I am. Amen. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Listen, we ain't going to be before you long because that's how I feel this morning. We're going to move right along in the book of 2 Chronicles. We're going to read this scripture. Second Chronicles, the book of Second Chronicles, the sixth chapter. If you have your Bibles, and I know you do, turn to Second Chronicles, Old Testament Scripture, the sixth chapter, just the 14th verse. The sixth chapter and just the 14th verse. When you get there, shout Jesus. Jesus! Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Look at what the Word of God says. I want you to be encouraged. It says, And said, O Lord God of Israel, he could be talking to us in HBC, every believer, every, every Christian, every saint of God. And he said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven nor in the earth, which keepeth covenant and showeth mercy unto thy servants that walk before thee with all their hearts. I'm going to read that again. And said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in the heaven nor in the earth, which keepeth covenant and showeth mercy unto thy servants that walk before thee all with all their hearts. Come on, saints of God. He keepeth covenant with us. Our God is faithful. Our God said he will keep us in perfect peace. Peace if we keep our minds stayed on him. The scripture says here he is a covenant keeping God. What is a covenant? A covenant is an agreement. A covenant is a contract. A covenant is a legal binding contract that God has made with us. And he's made that covenant to never leave us nor forsake us. He made that covenant to make us the head and not the tail. He made that covenant with us that we will always be above and never beneath. Come on, saints of God. It's a legal document. It's a, it's a statement that cannot be uh, 
uh, turned around. He's not going to go back on his word. He said, I'm a God. I can't. He said, I'm God. I can't lie. If he said he has a covenant with us, he's going to keep that covenant. Mm -hmm. That covenant is forever. No matter what, 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 you, what it looks like, it's forever. No matter how you feel, it's forever. How many of you know God's love is steadfast? That's what we've been talking about for the last several weeks. The addictiveness of his love. His love is steadfast. It's unmovable. It won't change. It doesn't matter. It won't change. His love is like, his, his love is firm. It's unwavering, saints of God. It, 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 it doesn't go by what you do. It goes by, watch this, who he is and what he is. God is love. Come on, saints of God. So his love never changes. His love never fails. His love never wavers. His love, his love never uh, leans one way or the other. His love is straightforward. Mm -mm -mm. And his love will forgive all your sins. His love will forgive all your transgressions. His love will forgive all your iniquities if you bring them to him. An addictive love he has towards us. Watch this, y'all. He gets, how many of you know God will get lonely if, he, if, if he's not talking to us? <laughs> how many of you know he desires to commune with us? He desires to talk with us. He desires to fellowship with us. I believe God feels some kind of way when we don't talk with him. We don't, when we don't communicate with him. We have to have the mindset that his love is so addicted to us that we want to be drawn to him. I want my love for him to be just as addictive as his love is to me. When I don't feel his presence, I don't feel right. When I don't, when I don't talk to him, I don't feel comfortable. You shouldn't feel, you shouldn't, listen, if you're a born again believer, if you're a saint of God, you shouldn't even feel right if you don't talk to God and don't communicate with God and don't pray to him and don't worship him and don't lift up his holy name. That's what we do as believers. That's what we do as Christians. Addictive love. His love is steadfast, y'all. His love, and like I said, it, it, he, it's in a, he made an agreement to love us until the ends of the earth. That's why he sent Jesus Christ his son, because he loved us that much. Can you imagine sacrificing your son for people who don't love you, who won't obey you, who won't, who won't submit their lives to you, but yet he sent his son that he would give us another opportunity to love him back. Mm -mm -mm. He chose you, saints of God. He chose you out. He searched you out. He picked you <laughs> to be his child, to be his sons and daughters, kings and queens of the Most High. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited about that. You need to be excited about that. Don't let nobody take you off. We, we talked about it last week. Height, death, uh, 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 life or death, height, death, it, it doesn't matter. Nothing is going to separate us from the love of God. Don't let your success separate you from the love of God. Don't let your fortune and fame separate you from the love of God. Don't let your popularity separate you from the love of God. Don't let your, your finances separate you from the love of God. Don't let your family separate you from the love of God. His love, saints, is amazing, phenomenal, outstanding, unimaginable, un unsearchable. That's how much he loves us, y'all. You can't, we can't figure it out. We can try all we can, but who, who would love somebody like us? And, and the things we've done, the places we've been, how we rejected him when we were in the world, but yet he still loved us. Now that you're saved, now that you're born again, now that you've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, you mean to tell me you don't want to worship him? You don't want to praise him. You don't want to lift up holy hands. You don't want a, a fellowship with the brethren. No, no, this is what we do, saints. This is what we do. I'm excited about my brothers and sisters. I'm excited about the household of faith. I'm excited about, watch this, seeing blind eyes opening, uh, deaf ears unstopped, lame walking. I'm excited about that stuff. 
Because that's our God. He loves us. He, said, he don't want nobody poor. He don't want nobody broke. He don't want nobody busted and disgusted. He don't want nobody sick. He don't want nobody in ailment. He, that, that, that's not what he wants. He wants us to walk by faith and not by sight. He wants us to walk in supernatural divine healing. He wants us to walk in supernatural divine deliverance. He wants us to walk in supernatural divine uh, 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 financial uh, prosperity. He wants the best for us, saints of God. Why? Because he's addicted to us. His love is addicted to us. Do you believe that? Go with me. One more scripture. I'm going to be out of your way. I'm just so excited about God. Romans. Go back to Romans with me. I think I did read in Romans last week, but I'm not going to read the same verse of scripture, but I'm going to hit Romans again. The eighth chapter, this particular scripture I want you to look at is uh, Romans 8th chapter the 31st and the 32nd verse. 8, chapter 31 and 32. It says, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can stand against us? Y'all better hear that. If God be for us, the Savior of the world, the God that made a covenant with us, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God who created the mountains, who created the trees and the birds and the fish in the sea, and he, he created every creeping thing on this earth. If that God is for us, who can be against us? Sickness can't be against us. Yes, it can try, but it won't prosper. Uh, um, uh, poverty can be against us. It won't prosper. Death can be against us, but it won't prosper. It says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Isn't that amazing? God loves us so much that it doesn't matter what comes up against us, it ain't going to prosper. And he said, whatever becomes our enemy becomes his enemy because he loves us that much. If sickness becomes your enemy, it's God's enemy. Come on, somebody. If lack becomes your enemy, it's God's enemy. Watch this. If divorce and separation comes between a marriage and becomes your enemy, it's God's enemy. If God be for you, who, what can be against you? No matter how your enemies uh, gather themselves against you, no matter, God will allow you to prevail. No matter how they gather against you, if God is on your side, you're coming out on top. If God is on your side, you don't have to operate in fear. If God is on your side, you don't have to operate in doubt. If God is on your side, you don't have to operate in unbelief. Why? Because we believe God and none of those spirits can get in our spirit to take us off the love of God. Mm, mm, mm. If God be for you, who could be against you? What could be against you? COVID-19 ain't going to prosper against you. Come on, sugar diabetes is not going to prosper against you. But do you believe this? Do you trust this? Do you stand on this? Remember what I said. His love, his word. How many of you know his word is his love and his love is his word? In the beginning was the word of God. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And the word was God. And the word was with God. Yeah. And wasn't nothing made that was made if it wasn't made by the word of God. So that very word that's in us, the devil can't defeat us, y'all. He can try. He can bring the weapons and all that stuff. But it won't prosper. Because we abide in God's word. And we abide in his love. And we understand the addiction that he has to us. Listen, I, my addiction, listen, I, I, tell, I said it before and I said it again. If my body starts trembling and starts shaking... That's because I ain't got enough word. I ain't got enough word in me. I got to get that word in me. I got to get that, that presence of God. If I'm start acting up, because some folk, watch this, saints. I'm going to say it. I'm going to be frank with you. Some folk act like the devil. Say it, born again, act like the devil. Have bad attitude. Talk about folk. Discriminate against folk. Look the other way. Don't want to speak to folk. Listen, you got to get addicted to that love again. You having chills. <laughs> you having a, a, what's that? You having flashbacks or something. You having cold sweats. But I tell you, if you want to stop that cold sweat and you want to stop those chills and those shakes and get back in the love of God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amen. Get back in the love of God. Fall in love with him all over again. 
Who can separate us from that love? Nothing. Don't let your attitude separate you from the love of God. Don't let your mindset separate you from the God, from the love of God. Don't let your, uh, your attitude, your disposition separate you from the love of God. 32 says, he that spared not, here it is, this is a love. Listen to this love. He that, that's God now, who spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us, for you and I. He gave up his own son for you and I. He said, but delivered him up for us. How shall he not with, with him also freely give us all things? Somebody said, all things are mine. All things are mine. All things are mine. The grace of God is mine. The, the kindness of God is mine. The fruit of the spirit is mine. The joy, the peace. The happiness, the, 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 everything that God has to offer is mine because I'm addicted to his love, saints of God. I, 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 I trust his love. I trust it that he's going to take care of me in a time of need. I trust that he's going to take care of my family in a time of despair. The, the world is in an uproar, but God yet loves us so much that he's taking care of his people. He's taking care of his kids. Come on, you, got, you cannot... Convince me God hasn't been blessing you in this season that we're living in. Come on, you're still blessed and highly favored of God. You, the joy of the Lord is still your strength. Watch this. You still got peace in the midst of the storm. No matter what's going on, the COVID-19, the riots, the protests, all these things that's going on, the earthquake. We got a hurricane they're talking about on the news getting ready to hit land somewhere. But in the midst of all of that, the love of God is sustaining us. The love of God is keeping us. The love of God is strengthening us. The love of God is encouraging us. I'm encouraged today, saints of God. You need to be encouraged. If God be for you, help me, Holy Ghost. If God be for you, the heaven and earth creator, the one, watch this, the one who breathed the breath of life into you and I, if he be for us, I'm not even going to walk in fear, y'all. I'm not going to consider fear. I ain't going to say fear ain't going to come. I ain't going to say the temptation ain't going to come. But what I'm saying is that weapon is not going to prosper against me. Mm, mm, mm. Not going to prosper against you. Why? Because we, ah, why well, I feel like running. We are addicted to his love. And his love is addicted to us. That's the kind of God we serve, saints of God. That's the kind of God I worship. Man, I appreciate God so much. I thank him so much for where he brought me from. See, that's why, that's why I know his love is so real, because I know where he brought me from. Amen. I know where I was heading. But he loved me so much that he came down on this planet and snatched me out of that sin that I was in. And look where I am today. Who would have ever thought that our Matlock would be sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ all over the world? Preaching his word all over the world. Y'all say, Pastor Matt, like you ain't all over the world. You ain't Hamilton Township. Well, if I want to see it, I better speak it. Help me, Holy Ghost. Huh? Come on, I got to call the thing that be not as though it were. I got to talk by faith. I got to walk by faith. I got to believe this thing. Just like you. I don't know what your situation is. I don't even know who I'm speaking to right now, preaching to. But this word is for you. Call the thing that be not as though it were. Tell yourself you're in love with him. How many of you know, if you, listen, you may not be acting like you're in love with him. You may not be feeling like you're in love with him. But look in that mirror and tell yourself you're in love with him. Because watch this, the more you say it, the more that thing will come to pass. You, you plant the seed. Say, God, I love you more than anything. God, I worship you, God. I want to feel your presence. I want to be right with you. I want to be, I want to, I want to walk in your word like never before. Watch this, God. I want to just feel your presence at all times. You got to speak it. And how many of you know it shall come to pass? Mm. Trust it. Believe it. Addictive love, saints. He's addicted to you. His love is addicted to you. Your family, your loved ones, everything concerning you. He's addicted to it. He don't want you in chills. He don't want you sweating. He don't want you having flashbacks. He don't want you having, watch this, withdrawals. Because when you operate in your flesh... You withdrawn. When you when you lean to your own understanding, you are with you have withdrawals. When you when you consider how you feel more so than you consider His word, you have withdrawals. 
Come on, somebody. Come on. When you think about uh, how you feel, like, come on, the devil, he's so, he's, he's cunning, he's tricky. He'll throw some pain on you to make you think you sick or ill or whatever the case may be, but the word of God say you healed, you delivered, you blessed, you highly favored, but you, you'll go with the pain. That's nothing but a withdrawal, saints. Mm, come on. Come on. Know what you need to do? Woo! Boy, I tell you. Know what you need to do? You need to go get another fix. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask God for another refilling. Mm -mm -mm. You know how. You know, come on. Let's, let's keep it 100, saints. You know how folk get. They, they got to. If, if they ain't had a drink in eight hours and they're alcoholic, they get the shaking, they got to go get them another drink. As soon as they drink that drink, they back to normal. They good to go. Just like a, 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 a nicotine, a person that has a nicotine habit. Don't let them smoke. Some folks smoke four or five packs a day. God help them. Don't know how they do it. But watch this. If they don't smoke within the next hour, they trembling and they want a cigarette. They got to have that cigarette. That's how we need to be with God, y'all. We got to have it. We got to have his presence. We got to have his word because he is our life source. He is everything. You think you just living by bread alone? No, the devil is a lie. The Bible says man do not live by bread alone. But, but watch this. Every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God and every word that proceedeth out of his mouth is love. I'm about finished with y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! I tell you, God is so good. <laughs> I'm about finished with y'all right there. He loves you, saints. 18, he loves you. Lady, he loves you. Praise and worship team, he loves you. Sound technician, he loves you. Deaconess, deaconess, deacons, he loves you. Trustee, he loves you. Uh, video, videographer, he loves you. Children, church, he loves you. Woo! I might as well just end it up saying NHBC, New Horizon Baptist Church. God loves you. Yes. Why don't we love him back? Come on, y'all. Let's give him everything we got. Come on, like I said, there ain't going to be no more church as usual. Let's give God everything we got. When we come in this place, the sanctuary, let's give him everything we got. Watch this. When we go home, let's give him everything. See, this is not a part-time thing. This is our lifestyle, saints of God. Come on, this is, our, this is what we do. We're professionals. Hallelujah. The Bible says, uh, uh, lay hold to the profession of your faith. We're professional faith walkers, y'all. We're professionals in what we do. So we don't take it lightly. This is, this is just doing my job. <laughs> when I praise him, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> when I worship him, I'm just doing my job. When I embrace you, I'm just doing my job. That's what we're supposed to do. Why? Because we are addicted to his love. Mother of the church, he loves you. Older saints of the church, young people. It, it, listen, New Horizon Baptist Church, you're the apple of God's eye. Yes. Take advantage of it. Don't mumber. Don't complain. Don't walk in fear. Don't walk in doubt. Don't walk in unbelief. God is a miracle worker. Just like he was a miracle worker over 2,000 years ago, he's the same miracle worker. Let's believe it, y'all. Let's stand on it. Let's walk by faith and not by sight. And let's call a thing that be not as though it were. Watch our tongue. What do you want to happen? That's what you say. Don't say what you see. Don't say what it feel like. But what do you want it to be? Plant that seed and let that seed grow. Amen? Amen. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. Oh, man, I pray you were blessed. I guess we're going to be closing up this series unless God take us somewhere else next week. But at this point, I think we close with this series, Addictive Love. I pray that you got something out of it. And I pray that your love for him and your desire for him has increased. And listen, it, it, it could be a process. It don't have to be all at once. But listen, at least strive towards loving him more. At least strive towards trusting him more. At least strive to worship him more, to pray him to him more. Addicted love, saints. I'm excited. God's love for us, man. It's so amazing that it just blows my mind. Mm. Our natural mind can't even conceive how much he loves us. So let's love on him back. Let's love on one another. 
Let's love on our family. Just share that word of God, saints. There's nothing wrong with just sharing the word of God with your loved ones, family members, friends, neighbors. It doesn't matter. Just give somebody a word. Let them know that even, especially in this time we're living in, with this, this uh, turmoil that's going on in the land, mm. yes, we yes, got to give yes, people yes. the word of God. Because I'm telling you, I thank God for the marching and protesting and the change that God is going to bring about because it's going to be God that bring about the change. But how many of you know, if we don't give it all to Jesus Christ, if we don't give it all to the Lord, it'll be for no to no avail. We got to seek God, saints. We got to put him first. The nation has to put him first. The country has to put him first. The world has to put him first. Yes, yes. If you really want to see change, if you really want to see racial discrimination cease, if you really want to see uh, uh, systematic uh, uh, racial uh, things in the police department and all these things that's going on in society, I guarantee you, now listen to this, I guarantee you, if we incorporate God, if we incorporate Jesus, we'll see a great change. We'll see a great change. Yes. So I say to you, beloveds of God, I pray that God has spoken to your heart. I pray that you are blessed or were blessed from the word of God. And I want you to be encouraged to keep God first. No matter what you're going through. Keep God first. Let us pray. Father, I thank you once again for your word. For you sent your word in the Lord Jesus and healed all that was oppressed of the devil. As those words have been spoken over the last several weeks, Father, as those words have been heard, we thank you, Father, because it was all about you and not about us. Bless these, your people. Bless their family members one by one and name by name. Bless the first responders. Bless the medical staff. Bless the, God even bless the police force. Save souls, Father. Turn hearts around. Even in government, Father. Save souls. Turn hearts around. Father, you can do it. And we thank you for in your word you said, if you be for us, who can be against us? You're more than the whole world against us. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So listen, saints, if you been listening to this broadcast and you haven't received Jesus Christ, this is your opportunity. Won't you give your heart to him? Will you repeat these words after me? Heavenly Father, I come before you just as I am. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. I believe that he died. You raised him from the dead just for me. I make that Jesus, the Christ, the Lord of my life. From this moment on, I yield my will to your will. I repent of my sins. Thank you, Father, for hearing me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I am yours. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, beloved. I pray God's peace be upon you, and I would like to leave this blessing with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you.